What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It has been an extremely busy night for me. Uh, so I got off work, I came home, I started mowing the lawn. Well, I let my dog out to go to the bathroom, then started mowing the lawn, because I was like, I don't know why my lawn is so long. Don't know why I did that. So uh, mowed the lawn, weed ate the weed whack, weed did something the front yard, cleaned my gutters, washed the BRZ, washed the STI. It's been a busy night, uh, but now we're here. We're doing the stuff, we're doing some installs. So like I said, welcome back. Um, tonight we're doing a quick install because uh, I'm a little tired from doing all the stuff that I just talked about. Uh, so we're just going to be doing a stainless steel clutch line on the BRZ and I'm going to show you guys how to bleed the clutch on a car. So this is going to be pretty universal across any car that you're doing. But I mean, hey, it's going to be a quick, easy, fun install that's going to make driving the car a whole lot better. So one of the issues with the rubber clutch lines, um, just like the brake lines over time, that rubber will start to contract and expand and it just it stretches out the hose. And uh, you get a lot more consistent clutch feel, the stainless steel clutch line, because you don't have that expansion and that contraction. So I'm gonna show you guys the tools that you're gonna need, the parts that we have, and the brake fluid that we're using just to get all this done. And then I'll show you guys the clutch line, what we need to take off. And uh, then after we get the new one on, I'll show you how to bleed the clutch. So overall, not too many tools we're gonna need. Uh, we are gonna need those 10 millimeter line wrenches that we ended up using on the brake lines. Again, a 5 16 spanner. That way we can undo the bleeder valve to get the uh, brake fluid out. 17 millimeter to get the brake line off. A 14 millimeter to get the brake line off with a small extension and the ratchet. Some needle nose pliers to be able to pull off the clip that's holding it. This is our brake line. So we are using the Cusco brake line from Japan. So the Cusco brake line, it comes with the brake line itself and then it also comes with two new crush washers up there because we are gonna need those for the brake line. Uh, so it'll be super simple. And then the brake fluid we're gonna be using is gonna be these, this Subaru OEM brake fluid for the BRZ uh, just because it is cheap, it gets the job done and it works very well. So that's all we need to be able to do this. I am also gonna be using the Motive Power Bleeder again because this thing kills it every single time I need to do any, any type of bleeding when it comes to the brakes or the clutch on this car or that car out there. So we're gonna, we're gonna just jump right into this. Um, I also did wanna give you guys an update on parts. So we got our IAG TGV deletes for the STI and we also got our speed density wiring harness. So more parts coming in for the STI so that way we can start making uh, good power with that car out there. Uh, but with this, uh, let's hop over to the BRZ and I wanna show you guys kind of what we need to take off. Okay, so if you're looking at your engine bay, you're gonna see your master cylinder reservoir over here and then your clutch master reservoir over here. Now, if you go over to your clutch master res reservoir, you're gonna see a hard line coming off of it. In our case, it's gonna be right there. If you follow that hard line, it's gonna lead to a rubber line. Now, the rubber line ends on top of the transmission right there and then right under it, is the bleeder valve. So you can see that little nipple coming off. So that's gonna be our bleeder valve to bleed the clutch. Now with this, what we're gonna to wanna to do is there's gonna be a small stainless steel clip back there that's holding the line in place. We're gonna to have to remove that clip, undo the uh, clutch line, and that clutch line is gonna be a 10 millimeter. So you're gonna need that line wrench to be able to pull it off. Once we go ahead and get that side broken free with that 10 millimeter line wrench, we're gonna come over here, we're gonna pull off the top of the clutch line, which is gonna be a 14 millimeter bolt. Now, once we get this off, we are gonna have to rush and get the other one on just because we don't wanna get brake fluid everywhere. Brake, fru brake fluid is corrosive and it's gonna start eating through everything. So we need to do this quick. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pull that old one off, get the new one on, and then uh, once I get the new one on, I'll show you guys what it looks like and then I'll show you guys how to bleed the clutch properly so that way you don't have any air in your new line. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna start by throwing a rag underneath the, the clutch line down here. And once I get the rag on here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start breaking loose the 10 millimeter bolt that is holding the rubber line over to the hard line on this side. Once this is broken loose, I'm gonna pull out the clip over here, take off this 14 millimeter, and we're gonna go ahead and get this clutch line off, and then we'll get the new one on in the reverse process. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pull this bar off right here just to give us a little more room down here. So these are gonna be 12 millimeter bolts. I'm just gonna pull them right off and uh, take this bar off. All right, so with the bar out of the way, it gives us a lot more room to be able to maneuver down here. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start pulling off that 10 millimeter that's holding onto the hard line, and then we'll uh, start pulling that clip out and get this line out. Now remember, brake fluid is gonna come out of here as soon as you pull this off. So now I'm going to get our new line threaded on through there and onto there. Get it threaded under here and then up onto its new home. So make sure that you put the new crush washers on the banjo bolt. You're gonna want one on each side. I'm gonna go ahead and start threading that in its new home. Now 
Now, if it starts spinning like it is on me, go ahead and grab a 17 millimeter wrench. You're gonna wanna hold down the opposite side. All right, that guy is tight. Let go of my wrench, please. Oh God, there we go. Wipe up the mess down there. And last thing to do is to get this clip back in, which is gonna be awful. Just like that, our new clutch line is in. So let me grab the let me swap gloves, grab the camera, and I'll show you guys the new clutch line, uh, the routing for it, and then I'll show you guys how to bleed the clutch properly, uh, just so you're not losing any fluid out of the master reservoir cylinder. Uh, so just so you guys can see here, here is the hard line coming off. It does some weird zigzag stuff, and then it wraps around right there to where our new clutch line is with the blue Cusco logo. Goes underneath of those heater core hoses and then wraps around to the top of the transmission right there. Now right there is our bleeder valve under it. So because my power bleeder doesn't have a cap that'll fit this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little more fluid in here. I'm gonna have someone come and help me bleed this clutch. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna depress the clutch a couple times for me just to build up pressure in the system. While the clutch is depressed, I'm going to open that bleeder valve to let the air and the fluid out. We're going to do that about six or uh, we'll probably do that three or four times. Uh, once the clutch feels good and it doesn't stick all the way to the floor anymore, we'll hop in it. We'll turn it on. We'll make sure that everything works properly. So I'm going to get the camera set up behind me. We're going to start bleeding this clutch. I'm going to top off this fluid a little bit more up to the max line and then uh, we'll start bleeding this thing and I will show you guys what to do. Now that bleeder valve on that is going to be five sixteenths. So make sure you do have the proper inch. You don't want to strip that out. So let's just let's do the thing. Right in the center of the screen, you can see the bleeder valve, which is gonna be this small nipple right down here. Now, I don't have a, well, I do have a hose, but I do wanna show you guys the fluid coming out. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna throw a couple paper towels down here. Uh, and then I'm gonna open and close this valve a couple times. So I, ha I do have someone in the car that's gonna help me bleed the clutch. Uh, because she's an awesome person and I need the help since the power bleeder won't actually fit on there. So what she's gonna do is she's gonna pump up the clutch about five times. After the clutch system has been pressurized or after the, just the drive line has been pressurized, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna open this valve while she's holding the clutch all the way down. Because we don't wanna let air back into the system, we don't want the clutch to be all the way up because then it's just gonna start sucking in a little bit of air. So with that, we're gonna start bleeding the clutch. I am gonna throw a little fluid up in here real quick just so we don't run out because we don't wanna run the system dry. So I'm gonna throw a little fluid in here and then we're gonna bleed this. So we have the system pressurized. We're gonna go ahead and throw our spanner on here and then open the valve up. Oh, well, it shot fluid everywhere. So that sucked. So I'm gonna have to clean this, but hold up. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and do it again. I do have a little bit of more, uh, I do have more paper towels down here this time. So that way when it shoots out, we are ready. So go ahead, pump it up another like five times. All right, so we have the system pumped up again. We pumped it up five times. I'm gonna go ahead, open the valve. It's gonna squirt everywhere again. Oh, yep, there it goes, squirted. So you're gonna wanna do this about three or four times just to make sure that you do get all of the air out of the system and that new clutch line is filled up with fluid. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna open it up one more time. I'm gonna be gentle this time. I don't want it to squirt everywhere. There we go. We have a controlled squirt so we can control our squirter. Squirt, there we go, there's our squirter. It literally looks like a baby peeing. Just keep pumping until it gets really hard. Now that uh, she has pumped up the pedal and it's super hard, we're gonna go ahead and open this valve and let it squirt. Oh, that was a good squirt. All right, I'm gonna refill this cylinder back up with fluid and uh, hopefully we have all the old fluid out. That fluid looks a lot cleaner, a lot cleaner. Spray everything down with some degreaser and clean everything off. All right, you guys, so like I said, super simple install to do and it feels so much better. So after installing that stainless steel clutch line, the, the clutch just feels more crisp, I guess you could say. So I hopped in the car, I turned it on, I was playing with the clutch a little bit, just throwing it through the gears. And it just, it feels a little more crisp. The catch point is a little bit uh, cleaner than it was before. So overall, super happy with it for such a cheap mod. And uh, plus you guys wanted me to show you guys just how to bleed a clutch and whatnot. So that OE rubber line, like I said, it'll expand and contract over time. It'll stretch out the line. Uh, it can also be a little bit more prone to damage if something were to slip if you're working in the engine bay and you actually accidentally pierce it. But I mean, that's a long shot or a stretch if you really wanna go there. Uh, but overall, well worth it. Super happy with the outcome with it.
with it. So hopefully it does help some of you out if you guys are looking at swapping out this part. Uh, but that's really all I got for you guys. So you know what to do. If you like the video, go ahead, smash that like button. If you're not already subscribed to the channel and you want to be, let's throw it down here in this bottom right corner, which is left for me. And with that, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, homies.